Hello and welcome to the 29th edition of The Real Footage Show. I'm Tim Davis. Today we're going to be discussing the 1980s Nickelodeon program, Mr. Wizard's World. We're going to be discussing the show along with its uh, DVD release information. Uh, before we get started with today's video, I just would like to uh, talk about a few things. Um, 2018 uh, marks my fifth year of making videos on YouTube. So this will be my fifth year uh, of making uh, videos for my YouTube channel. I began making them in June of 2014, and um, I'm still here making informative and hopefully entertaining videos for fans that enjoy uh, anything in the television and movie genres. I'd also like to mention, too, um, that uh, this video also features a new hairstyle, which I recently um, acquired not too long ago. And um, this video is also being filmed on June 8th, um, which also happens to be, uh, sadly, uh, the one-year anniversary uh, of the passing of a friend of mine who was a video uh, creator who had his own YouTube channel for many years who sadly um, took his life to suicide a year ago uh, on June 8th. Uh, so I'd just like to uh, announce some of those things before we get started. Um, to begin we're going to be uh, talking about uh, Mr. Wizard's World, this show right here uh, which aired on Nickelodeon uh, throughout the 1980s and into the 1990s. Don Herbert was Mr. Wizard. He was like the the science teacher for kids on television. Not only of the 1980s, uh, but also Don Herbert, Mr. Wizard, was also around in the 1950s and 1960s with a black and white television program titled Watch Mr. Wizard. Sort of similar to Mr. Wizard's World of the 1980s, but the format might have been changed a little bit here and there. His ultimate goal throughout all the shows he ever produced was to teach young young children uh, the concepts and uh, uh, the education of science, whether it was with uh, uh, the eruption of a volcano or uh, electricity or how computers work. Uh, he covered a wide variety of topics and would have young assistants on the show help him um, to try to explain how science works in everyday life. The 1980s version, however, uh, was a more faster paced version and included video clips of science as well. The program aired with new episodes being produced throughout the 1980s from around 1983 up until 1989 or 1990 and then went into reruns on the network throughout the entire decade of the 1990s mostly airing in the early morning hours, especially in the late 1990s. I always remember if I was home from school, whether if it was from uh, being sick or whatnot, I remember catching an episode of Mr. Wizard's World on early in the morning, and I always thought to myself that it was a more unique and different kind of a program compared to most of the other stuff that was on the television at the time, because it was informative, it was educating, and it um, it did not speak down to the person. It, it taught you uh, how things work in the world with uh, magnetism and electricity, uh, sound travel, uh, uh, what causes wind. It uh, it explained a huge amount of topics over the years that it was on. Um, and over the years, uh, the program was not released in any kind of a form except for a few episodes or a few segments here on there on VHS tapes, uh, which were long out of print. But if you were lucky enough, you were able to maybe find them online somewhere. Uh, but starting around 2004 or so, uh, Mr. Wizard Studios, which is a company that uh, uh, Don Herbert was part of up until his passing, uh, began to release selected episodes from the series onto DVD. Now, the show ran from 83 up until 1990 with new episodes being made, making a total of about 78 episodes. And from those 78 episodes, various hand-picked episodes were selected for DVD release. 
and they were put in sort of like best of um, collections in volume numbers by the studios, which released uh, a number of volumes over the course of the 2000s. Um, a total of 10 volumes were released um, to date, and uh, uh, they were released as single volume sets or a complete box set. Episodes were also available online uh, on their YouTube channel. Uh, you could find many of the segments, as well as on some other places on the internet, you could find them as well. But if you would like to buy them, the actual DVDs, you can visit their website at MrWizardStudios.com, or you could find uh, more information on it just by clicking Mr. Wizard's World in any search engine box on the internet, and you'll probably come across information about the series. I'm holding right here in my hand, this is volume one of the ten that were actually released. This is the very first one that was put out in the year 2004. Uh, each DVD contains four episodes. There's four episodes on each DVD, which runs approximately about 25 minutes apiece. And each one of them is the exact episodes that aired on Nickelodeon. Now, many of these I remember seeing on TV. Others I don't. Um, I also re remember taping a lot of these episodes I've seen on these DVDs when they used to air on Nickelodeon. But it's nice to actually see them now in a more remastered uh uh, nicer condition uh, rather than the uh, fuzziness of the uh, VHF, VHS tape quality. Um, I like the releases of each of them. Uh, I kind of wish, being the TV enthusiast that I am, that the studio could have released all of them in their entirety, but they did They did uh, put out at least 40 episodes, which is quite a lot, out of the 10 volumes that were put out. Um, this DVD happens to contain experiments this is the volume 1 DVD um, uh, how to make a homemade volcano um, uh, technology with uh, computer uh, generated airplanes um, let's see how a bird flies um, Talking about how leaves change color, what makes them change color when the when the seasons of the year change, um, as well as some other uh, interesting science concepts like uh, how sound travels, uh, how many stars there are in the universe, how to make some other things you could find in every in an everyday kitchen, um, um, finding a tree's height and so on and so on. But this is just a, a, an example of the wide variety of topics that are discussed. Um, this is the back of the DVD case for Volume 1. It also shows some random photos from some of the experiments that are included within that DVD. I, I like the way, I like the design and how the studio put these together. I find it very interesting. I could spend hours and hours talking about this and don't get me wrong, I'm not an expert on any of, of the TV shows I discuss or review online. I'm just basically a, a very big enthusiast of them. No way an expert. So if you have know something that I don't and would like to uh, share it with the audience, with our audience that's watching these videos, feel free to share it within the comment section or to ask a question um, because it's fun to, to share uh, this kind of information with other people that enjoy the same things as we do. So... Each DVD, as I said, uh, has at least four episodes on it, and they are jam-packed with a number of interesting experiments for people that either remember them when they originally aired on Nickelodeon, or if you're just discovering from them for the first time. Again, this is the DVD of Volume 1 from uh, Mr. Wizard's World. Um, this is also a follow-up video to one I made quite a number of years back on my YouTube channel, uh, that video was titled Science Fun, and that also discusses Mr. Wizard's World as well as his original series, sort of similar to this video, uh, but I just wanted to make an updated version of that video uh, now and uh, talk again about the program, uh, about how many years it was on for, and the, the DVD release. I give the DVD release um, about uh, a four-star rating. Uh, I find it uh, very good. For years, I've been waiting for the show to come out onto DVD, and when I found out the news about it back in the uh, mid-2000s, I was very, very excited because I thought I would never see the day when we'd be able to get actual episodes of the show remastered and put onto a uh, DVD release. Um, so it was very exciting for me, and still is to this day. So uh, if you're a fan of Mr. Wizard's World and would like to relive the magical moments of science with Don Herbert, TV's Mr. Wizard, 
Uh, you can find these DVDs on the internet or on the official website at MrWizardStudios.com. Uh, where they not only have these episodes of Mr. Wizard's World on DVD, but other uh, items from the studio as well. This has been fun enjoying uh, and sharing with you uh, the 1980s television show Mr. Wizard's World with you. If you have any questions or comments, again, feel free to leave them in the comment section, and I will respond as soon as possible. You can also check out all my other videos, which are, are more related to the uh, TV entertainment and film genre. Um, on my YouTube channel at Tim1TV. You could also see some other interesting things there as well. For the real footage show, this is the 29th installment of the series, and I would like I would like to thank you again for joining me in, in this edition of the video series. Until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, my friends, and thank you for watching. This is Tim D Productions.